Hey guys, welcome to the workout demo video for Friday, April 17th. For your warm up, we're gonna do two rounds, 25 jumping jacks, 10 air squats, six alternating lunges, that would be three on each leg, and then one time through the Bergner warm up with a clean grip using an empty barbell or a broomstick. Your mobility, let's do seven broomstick good mornings. Let's do the pigeon stretch, the ankle stretch with a dumbbell or a kettlebell, and then hold the bottom of a squat against a door frame. Let's do 10 seconds each times three. Your workout is one time through this list, four time. 50 weighted squats, 40 weighted box step ups, and 30 weighted lunges. That weight could be a barbell or a sandbag in the back rack position, which means you'll clean it from the floor, pop it over your head onto your shoulders. The weight could also be a single dumbbell or a kettlebell or some other odd object that you hold on your back or on a shoulder. Choose a weight that you could do each movement in three to four sets. If you're using a barbell, no more than 115 and 75. If you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, no more than 50 or 35 pounds. Step ups onto something 20 inch or smaller, could be a box, could be steps, could be a chair that's stable, whatever you wanna use. And the lunges could either be walking lunges or alternating in place. For your optional accessory work, we're gonna accumulate two minutes in each one of these positions. An air squat hold below parallel and an L sit hold on any stable surface or on the floor. Make sure you do all of the air squat, accumulate the full two minutes before you move on to the L sit. And then for your cool down, take a walk, go for a bike ride, get that heart rate back down again. We're gonna do the pigeon stretch and the glute for both of those stretches, alternating sides. Let's do 30 seconds and then switch times two for a total of two minutes in each stretch. So if you're doing this workout with a barbell, you're gonna clean it from the floor, dip and drive it up over your head in a controlled way and absorb it on your back. And then you're gonna do your back squats We'll just let him do a couple since he just finished today's squat clean workout. And then you're gonna do your weighted box step ups. Again, any box height that you feel comfortable with, no more than 20 inches, could be steps, could be a chair. And then lunges alternating, whether you're walking or doing them in place. Take breaks as you need to, but keep in mind you'll have to clean that bar and pop it over your shoulders every time. You could also do the same thing with a sandbag. Derek's on a rest day, so he found the smallest sandbag we, can, we have. Back squats. Again, step ups. That sandbag stays in the back rack position. Alternating step ups, I didn't say that before. And then lunges. Make sure on the lunges that that front shin is straight up and down and the weight's on the back half of your foot. If you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, it would basically look the same with either one of those. However, you wanna rest that dumbbell or kettlebell on your back or on your shoulders to do your squats, to do your step ups. And to do your lunges. For your air squat hold, again, we're accumulating two minutes in that bottom position. I want you to be engaged, so we're not bottomed out and completely disengaged, but we're below parallel, keeping the chest up as high as possible. Stand and take breaks as you need to, but we're trying to accumulate a total of two minutes. For your L sits, you could do them on a single box or on the floor, would look basically the same, trying to get your butt up off of the ground or off of the box. If you're on the floor, it would be great if you can get your butt and your feet up off the floor, but that may not be possible. <laughs> Something not like that. <laughs> All right, have a great workout, guys.